everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with our wildfire pack, who so far... Okay, Spark is hungry. Oh, Spark, did he finish eating last night? I don't know if he actually did. He might want to... Oh, no, I was going to check the affinities at 86. That was my point in opening that window. And uh, now it's... Um... Oh, Nimbus, good gracious. Uh, he's running over. He seems excited. Oh, he seems very excited. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring these two back to the... Oh, no, 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 how about we don't go over... Oh, gosh, everybody's running to Nimbus because I think he's going to feed them. It looks like it. All right, let's... let's. Okay, we can't. Never mind. We'll give them a little bit of food. I don't mind if they eat uh, a bit before we head out. We'll also play with them a little bit, but we're gonna probably need to find more food if we want to be able to give them anything significant. The good news is, it does not appear that we have had an attack yet. There was nothing that happened overnight, and uh, even if that changes now, I'll, uh, I'll take that as at least a temporary improvement. Let's just make sure that we get the, uh, the pack affinity up before we leave. And how is our territory looking? Actually, it's not terrible, although this one looks like it has wolves in it, so we probably need to be mindful of this because I wonder if they're sneaking around. That, or they're going to try to sneak through here because it looks like we cut them off from some of their territory. But we probably want to start working on this part of the territory as well and make sure we get some of that and make sure that that's not going to be an issue um, because otherwise we're going to have uh, we're going to have a fun time. And let's move everybody back in the grass. Hesha, please be careful. She's just wandering very far away. She seems like she's regaining her spunk at least, which for that I'm thankful, but... Considering that she seems to still be a very bold puppy even without her partner in crime. Yeah, that worries me, I'm not gonna lie. But, okay, Nimbus has already gone off on his own, so we're gonna head over here, we're gonna do some marking, and we'll see if we can find any food to bring back. How's he doing on his food? 77. So he might, uh, hopefully he'll hunt or fight or find some, or not, maybe not fight, but hopefully he'll hunt or find something along the way that he'll be able to, um, to eat. And we'll see if Pyrrha can do the same. Baby somewhere. Oh, there's the mama. I see her resting. She doesn't seem too perturbed, but we'll see if we can find this baby. Get a snack for Pira, perhaps. Oh, there we go. We found it. And it looks like she's a little bit too late, so I'm gonna try to not do too much like hunting, hunting. We'll try and see if we can just find a couple of uh, of fawns to or fawns or calves to eat or bring back, perhaps. Now I don't know. Depending on oh, Nimbus seems to maybe have found himself some food, perhaps. But depending on what he gets up to while he's off on his own excursion, we might want to bring that some, back something for him as well. But we'll see. Uh, you do get slowed down quite a lot when you're carrying the babies, so we'll try to find uh, one if, when we get closer to heading back, probably. But for now, this this territory is now unclaimed, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll put a scent post here too. What the? Are those just dispersals? I think they probably are. They look like they're heading off, and if they're not picking a fight, then Pyrrha won't either. Oh, that's a bear. Excuse me? Oh, this is our old den. Oh, we, we yeah, we know this place quite well. Well, maybe we'll put our scent post over here. I actually want to move it because it was on the other side of the territory, probably from when we had the den here. But uh, we'll go ahead and put this in. Uh, we'll put the, the scent post in right here, and that should be good. That should bring this back up to full, and then... It, I'm not sure what Nimbus is doing, but we'll let's go at, let's go find out. We're gonna we're gonna go see what he's up to, and try and uh, maybe maybe see what he's doing, and maybe we'll be able to get him some food and then head home. Nimbus went off up here somewhere. This is territory that I don't even think we need to mark because it's so far away, but he's somewhere around here. You can see we're quite close to him on the map. Actually, he's right over here, apparently. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's hunting or not, but I think we're just going to locate him and come back, probably, if he's over here. He should be... Oh, he's right here. Oh, hello. Oh, I had accidentally turned off names. That's why I couldn't see him. Hi, Nimbus. Let's go ahead. We will kind of give him a greeting here, and he seems like he's pretty eager to join up with us, perhaps. Is he following? I think he he might be. Yeah, he's is he? Yeah, he's gonna come with us. All right, we'll we'll have him join us. We'll see if we can find him some food, and then we'll try to see if we can bring back some food for the babies too. I think because he didn't mark this territory that he passed through, I think he may have actually been doing some hunting. So we'll just see if we can make his life a little bit easier in that regard. We do have to get back somewhat soon because the pack affinity is starting to drop, but we've got a little time at least. 
Oh, there's a moose calf here. Let's um, let's see if we can uh, maybe, oh, maybe not get kicked by the mother, but if we can actually bring this moose calf down, then we'll probably have enough food. And actually, if we look here, Nimbus got himself up to uh, up to not uh, up to 100%. It looks like about 98%. So he's probably all right if we don't have him eat more today, because if he's at 100, then he has enough for himself. And if we can bring back a moose calf, then we'll have enough for the pups. So we, we got to get it across the river and not get kicked by the mother. But if we can bring this one back, then we'll probably be all right. I'm going to see if we can take it down. And uh, there, we'll see, see if we can do that. I think we got it. We just got to watch out, because here comes the mom. And it's still on the run. Oop, that's going to hurt if we get hit. But if we can just get a couple more bites in, now that it's running, we'll be okay, I think. Oh, that was a pretty good one, too. Now, there's the mother, but if we can get some good bites before she turns around, there we go, we got it. And we'll go ahead, oh, uh, Nimbus, Nimbus, can I, can I carry it? We can bring it back for the babies. All right, we should be good. We're gonna get this back to the rendezvous site. Oh my goodness, the pups are, uh, pups are getting antsy, so we'd best hurry back, especially because we can't run too fast with this thing in our mouths. There is a river between us and uh, and the pups, but fortunately Pura remembers this crossing, and I'm pretty sure we can wade all the way through without dropping. Yes, indeed. She's certainly not going to be forgetting this place, but uh, it did at least come in handy this time. But we just need to get all the way back to the rendezvous site, and hopefully before the puppies get antsy enough to come out of the grass. It's going to be close, but I think we can make it. Yeah, I already see their names in the distance. Here we go. Hi, babies. It's good to see you guys again. Everybody's hanging out over here, but we'll try to kind of draw them back into the rendezvous site itself with some food. Uh, that should do the trick. That usually seems to... I'm not seeing any danger at the moment, but... Oh, that's just a raven and a suspicious stump, I'm pretty sure. But I think as long as we're careful, we should be good. I don't... Is that... I think that's just a stump. Watch, this will be the one time that it's not, but it's, it doesn't seem like it's moving enough to be predator. I think if it was moving, if it, if it was if it was a predator, I think it'd be moving more unless it was a cougar, and I don't think it looks right to be a cougar. So I think we're okay. We just gotta be kind of careful. Amber, 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 you made me interrupt my howl. Please don't do that. The others are howling at least, but we do not want her wandering off. We want everybody staying nice in this, uh, in this little circle of um circle of lower grass and we're getting we're getting closer i think so amber's up to 18 pounds and everybody else is in the 17 range they're getting better on food as well they're eating hestia can definitely stand to use a little bit more food though honey you gotta make sure you eat but i think overall we're, we're getting there i'm just a little bit worried that uh, we haven't seen the last of those coyotes. They were so stubborn, so persistent, and we've had maybe a respite from them. But I'm very much worried we haven't seen the last of them. I've got the terrible feeling they'll be back at least once more before this is all over, but I suppose we'll have to see what's gonna end up happening here. Let's make sure that we keep playing. That music actually really scared me. But Pure is getting pretty tired too, so we definitely do want these guys to head back into the grass once they have finished. Uh, how are we doing on food? I think everybody's pretty good. Hesha can eat a little bit more. I think she's done though, so we'll go ahead and we'll move. Are you serious? Oh no. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. Alright, everybody, everybody, everybody. Amber, 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 Amber. Oh my gosh. No, right here. Okay. You know what? Is it just the one? I think it's just the one. Amber, okay, we're... Amber, go back in the grass. We're finishing this. We don't have much time, Amber. We're finishing this. This ends now. Where's that scent trail? Nimbus had the right idea chasing him. We've got our, um... We've got our, our, our pack affinity back up. Oh, he's trying to go right into the lake. This time, this time, it's not going to be enough. We're finishing this off. It's this, It's always one or two coyotes. I think this is, must be the instigator. Oh, Nimbus is right with us, too. He knows what's about to go down. He knows what is about to go down. This coyote has attacked us for the last time, and Pyrrha has reached the conclusion that if we don't do something about it to end the situation permanently, this is not going to stop. So I think right now is when she, um, 
is gonna is gonna put a put a stop to this once and for all. Now he can, now not even the water can save him. He's out in the open again. We'll see if we can run him down. We don't have much time. We gotta hurry because uh, we we are we are not high on uh, on energy. Our stamina is gonna start to go soon, and that was of course the problem last time. But Nimbus is helping us out with these two both on his tail. Though this guy I think has made his attack for the last time. Oh, he's doubled back towards the pups too. That certainly isn't gonna sit right with Pyrrha. Well, I think this certainly is when we have to put a stop to it once and for all. If you would have given up, if you would have left us alone, then I think maybe Pura would have eventually ended up letting you go. But given that you've continued to make yourself a problem, this is the conclusion she's reached about this being the only way to protect her pups. You won't give up. And if you won't give up, then we're going to have to put a stop to it for you. He's getting pretty low on health, too. There we go. I think this might be it. Oh, maybe not. He's got a little enough, a little bit more. Oh, Nimbus. Not if Nimbus stops him, though. And Nimbus finished <laughs> finished him off. Oh, my goodness. We're going to we're gonna give a howl here. And I really hope that that was enough, that this is where this ends. He wouldn't give up. I don't really know why. But in any case... Hopefully this will serve as fair warning to any other coyotes that might follow his example. Pyrrha is certainly going to remain very wary of them, I think, in the future. But I hope that this at last may put a stop to these relentless attacks. We gotta get back to the pups, though. Pyrrha is exhausted. Maybe a little bit more hopeful than before, though, because maybe we did it. Maybe... Maybe this will be enough. Maybe, maybe there won't be any more coyote attacks now. We can certainly hope. But we'll, you know, I'm gonna bring this over to Nimbus, I think, because he's still a little hungry too. We'll make sure he gets his food, and then we'll go back to the pups. I think. Honestly, I think Pura is relieved. Hello, that's just a hair. I think. I don't know for sure if that's. That if there were more coyote, I mean, we did see two. It's possible that coyote may have had a mate who will uh, maybe be even angrier with us more than ever now. But oh, they they just still went over to eat. All right, maybe let's uh, maybe let's bring this back then. Um, if, if if this is not far enough away for 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 Nimbus to to want it, and if the pups are still hungry, we'll let them eat some of it. We'll have some of it ourselves too. But. I hope- oh, Nimbus is bringing Cinder back! <laughs> oh my goodness. But I... I hope that was enough. I hope that'll do it. I think Pyrrha learned well on the mountain with the other wolves how feuds can get out of hand. She spent a good amount of her time duking it out with the stranger wolves there, and it, it didn't it just it just kept getting worse but if this coyote wouldn't stop attacking us then i don't know what choice we had i just hope this doesn't have further repercussions in the future and i certainly ho think pura is hoping that more than anything this will serve as a warning to the other coyotes to leave the wildfire pack alone but we're gonna go ahead we'll woof these guys back into the grass and i think we're gonna go ahead and rest up because pura is exhausted I I don't want to say we did it, but we may have. Maybe now things will finally start to look up a little bit more if the coyotes will actually stop terrorizing us. But we'll have to see about that in the next episode. For now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.